Man, oh man. Z Fold 3. Got some things we need to talk about. What's going on, everybody? Tech King Mike back here with another video. And yes, we have a few things we need to talk about when it comes to the Z Fold 3. Now, this is not going to be a top five complaint video. I'm probably going to just narrow this down to just three things. So we're just going to title this the top three reasons why I dislike my Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now, so far, the response to the Fold has been incredible. People have been enjoying it. Just pre-order sales and numbers are through the roof. So I'm really thinking that I'm not the only person that's feeling this way about this device. So I want to just kind of break these three things down after using the Z Fold 3 for as long as I have. Now, for full disclosure, this thing isn't going anywhere. This isn't a why I'm returning video or anything. This phone is here to stay. So I wanna make sure I put that out there right now. This thing isn't going anywhere. But let's discuss the three reasons why I dislike my experience with the Z Fold 3. And number one, you guys already know what it is, app compatibility. Now, what I mean by app compatibility, there are things like Google, like Gboard, okay? I use Gboard on almost every Android device I use, whether it's on the Pixel stock or it's on the Galaxy S21 Ultra or any Galaxy device in the past. I've always downloaded Gboard. Gboard is one of those apps that is unfortunately not optimized for a folding device. What do I mean by that? When you put Gboard on the front screen, right, and you toggle it and have it adjust to however you want it to adjust, when you open the inner display, it stays in that same format. There is no separate adjustment. So what ends up happening is I have a tall keyboard on the outer display that makes it easier for me to type one handed. But then when I open up the inner display, I have a doggone half a screen keyboard. And I'm just not a fan of that. Like I wish that Gboard would be optimized for folding displays. There are other apps out there. I'm not even gonna talk about Instagram or stuff like that because those apps out there are just really and truly we know that those are apps that are not compatible. And there are apps that you can force to work with the Fold. That's why Samsung called out Samsung Labs during their event. So we know that there are ways to do it. I'm just not a fan of like the way that some apps are still struggling to catch up. My hope, however, is that when Google releases a folding phone, AKA a folding pixel, my hope is that once that thing comes out, that's when the optimization of apps will fully be flush across the folding ecosystem because I think that's when it'll be more mainstream and I'm expecting it to be like that catalyst that makes it where okay now we're not now we're cooking with oil you know what I'm saying so that's what I'm hoping happens reason number two I dislike the fact that the battery is what it is now in this type of a device it's already thick enough as it is when it's closed I would have loved an extra 500 million hours in the battery. I would I would gladly have paid for and gladly have taken this device just a hair thicker if it would have had a 5,000 million hour battery. I hope, I, I hope, Samsung, if you're listening to your boy, I, I hope you're listening. I hope that the Fold 4 will come with a larger battery and not a step backwards like the Fold 2 to the Fold 3. Mind you, it was only like a 2% to 5% step backwards. I don't know the exact number, but still nonetheless, it was a step backwards. And we don't want to go backwards. In this day and age with technology, we're paying too much money to go backwards, right? I want to make sure that that is understood. Yes, we can make it work. Yes, it's not that difficult. And it's not that hard to get through a full day's usage. But we are paying too much money for these devices. Not just a phone, a laptop, a camera, anything. We're paying too much money to go backwards in the next generation. So I really hope that compromises like the battery, compromises like the four megapixel under display camera. I hope that with this generation into the next one, we will see some improvements and we will see things change from there. Because if it's one thing Samsung has shown me is that they're, they've got this mapped out. They've got this mapped out. And I know that they've got improvements coming in the next model. And that's what makes me so excited about it. Because look at how far we've come since the first generation. The last thing, number three, that I dislike about the Fold is the cameras. Now, full disclosure, the reason why I dislike the cameras is not because they aren't good, it's because of little stuff that we're still dealing with with Samsung cameras. Case in point, shutter speed. Now, I'm sorry, I know people are tired of it being talked about, but literally, when I take a picture with the wide angle camera, the shutter speed is just fine. When I click over to the ultra wide, I am noticing sometimes a significant delay 
in the time I tapped the button and the time that it actually takes the photo. Now, mind you, we've all heard the stories before. What if you're trying to capture a moment? You're trying to capture your kid, your dog, your, your family. What if you're trying to capture something and you miss that moment? It is very frustrating to know that if I wanted to use that particular lens, I have to compensate how I'm taking a photo in order to adjust for it. Is it make or break to make me say, that, you know, to hell with the phone? Not at all. I can live with it. But it's just something that I noticed and it's something that we've been talking about with Samsung devices for way too long. Like I said, does that mean I'm getting rid of my Z Fold 3? Hell no. This thing is, this is, this thing is here to stay. This thing is staying in my pocket. But it's okay to have something that you dislike about something. You, you're spending this kind of money that we are spending on these devices, even with trade-ins, you're talking about upwards of 500 to full price, $1,900 on these devices, including taxes. You're allowed to dislike things. It's not always gonna be sunshine and rainbows and pretty butterflies. So I just wanted to put this out there to just discuss my three reasons why I dislike Z Fold 3. If you feel the same way as me, let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Hope you enjoyed the fold content that I have. And I hope to see you on the next video. Stay safe. Stay blessed. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.